Okay, here is the uh, winning painting as created by Helen Roberts. Uh, you may recall the purpose of the exercise was um, an artistic interpretation of my most recent novel, Never Seen Again. No small thing to ask. 130,000 words of crime thriller condensed into a single canvas. But um, se several artists undertook the challenge and um, Helen Roberts was the winner. Um, the central character here, Jody, was the one who caught my attention straight away. Beautiful eyes, uh, literally locked gazes with me the moment the painting was unveiled. But there are lots of other details which I'd like to show you in uh, Helen's amazing picture. Um, we've got the roses for Rose Hill House and the rose tattoo that appeared on the palm of one of the, her kidnappers' hands. Um, here we have Oya Oyanola. Another key character in the story, a tragic character, of course. Apologies for the light in here, by the way. There's no, there's no perfect place in our house for this kind of, um, this kind of uh, procedure. But we'll go with what we have. The painted lady butterfly. Um, uh, that's a migrant to the UK. Um, a reflection of the fact that the traffic women are also migrants, so not willing migrants in this case, of course. We've got the Fawahodi symbol. Um, which is uh, the Fawahodi symbol here is a, a sign of freedom emancipation in West Africa, which is where Oya comes from, though there's a caged bird underneath it, you'll notice. Um, there we have uh, Nick Thurgood, one of the main villains, casting a long shadow underneath the international maritime flags for running into danger. Even more dangerous, you have the wolf spider. Wolf spiders don't actually, of course, weave webs, but in this case... Um, it all works. Uh, Nick Thurgood was a successful, if um, corrupt, city trader. Hence, you have the Wolf of Wall Street factor. You also have the fact that he was known as his television program, you may recall, was referenced as Night Prowler or Night Howler. Um, that's why Oya referred to him as Lugaru, which is a French word for werewolf. Here we have all the evidence. Who was St. Bridget? Reference of re References to... Freddie Martindale's suicide leap down here. The old battered mobile phone, which David Kelman manages to get working. Uh, that's key to the investigation. Even further down, the old battered dictaphone, which, of course, enables him to snare the villains. Over to this side of the painting. We're back at the Royal Wallace Yacht Club, where so many important things happen in the novel. We've got Vitalis. Now, if memory serves, St Vitalis of Gaza was a patron saint of prostitutes, which is very interesting. The prostitutes in this story are all victims. Um, none of them are really criminals. Here we have the Russian word on this boat here, the Russian word for slavery. Um, I mean, I didn't know about that. That's a little bit of artistic license by uh, Helen, but very much appreciated. She even went to the trouble of finding the exact type of moon on the day, the, the September day, when um, Hannah, when uh, Jodie was abducted. And there we have the constellation of Ganymede. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, one of the legends associated with Ganymede, um, sorry, the constellation of Aquila. And one of the legends associated with the constellation of Aquila is the um, kidnapping of Ganymede on be at the behest of Zeus. So uh, yet again, we're talking about abduction, kidnapping, people being trafficked to faraway places where they don't want to go. OK, uh, just a quick round up. I wanted to bring all these details to your attention. Um, it's a truly marvellous painting. Um, I could not be happier.